Let's pretend this guy doesn't know what he's doing. It's your friend. It's somebody you care about. You have to save him. From this distance, if you were just to do a normal technique and just try to charge, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah. He's just going to shoot. This is one of those times where if you have this much distance, you actually have to practice bullshitting. And bullshitting usually means that if this guy's not shot yet, he's holding him in that position. He doesn't want to shoot him, at least not right away. So you need to work with that. And the best way to work with that is to give him what he wants. Nine times out of 10, it's money, right? Buddy, here, easy, you, you want money? I got, I got money right here. here. Look, let me get my wallet. Let me get my wallet, don't, don't shoot my friend. Don't, don't, here, can, can you see it? Here, I got, I got, can you see I got, I got money right here. Here, here, it's right here, I got, I got, I got. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're actually gonna anything that requires distance, you need a prop. A prop as in what you're really gonna throw at the guy. And nine times out of ten, it's gonna be probably your wallet, and if you especially got cash in there. Notice that when I threw it, the cash kind of went everywhere. Let me ask you, when you saw that when you saw all that fly up, what went through your brain? Uh, I don't know if my what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And that's exactly what you want to have happen to the guy pointing the gun. So he sees money going up in the air. The last thing he's probably gonna be thinking of in that moment is shoot the guy, right? So, let's uh... <laughs> the, the, the lesson is distract and then attack. So, the, so let's just, well, let's get to that point. Let's say that I've done the throw. Boom, right? I've done the throw. We'll talk about how to throw the, the, the tool or your wallet properly so it's not a big motion. You want it very small, right, and precise. As you're throwing, you want to throw dive. And when you dive, I actually held myself back because I was going to fall into him. You want to throw, grab, and your whole goal is to continue driving them both back. Don't worry about him. You might end up hitting him a couple of times. He's just gonna have to eat it. Sorry, brother. <laughs> Shit happens, but you're saving his life, right? Hit him, hit him, hit him, and notice that as I'm pushing, the gun's still pointed at the attacker. Keep hitting him until you have an ability to draw the weapon. It's very similar to, let's say you're the one. You guys remember this move? All right, one, boom, two. Drive him back, three. It's this exact same technique, except now instead of you being the bystander, you're the secondary person driving forward. Yeah? I'm going two motions. Remember that whatever motions you do with your hand, he'll pick up. So if you watch my hands from this example, if, I, if I'm throwing it in this way, it's a very large motion. Whereas if I'm shooting straight through, it's almost like when you're having to deal with a jab or a cross. You almost can't tell or calculate the distance, right? When I'm throwing my wallet at him, I'm throwing in, in small, motion, so I'm actually going from here, pop. As I throw, I immediately go forward. L grip? Yeah, L shape grip, so I'm bomb, L shape, and I'm driving my whole body into both of them. The reason is because to throw it quickly, let me get you over here, buddy, just so he can pick it up. Now watch my hands. If I throw like this, tell me when I'm gonna throw it. Just say now. Small, right? Oh. Okay. You can't see when I'm gonna throw it, or else this is gonna pull the trigger. So it's gotta be a surprise. Right. Questions? Let's give it a shot, guys. Three, three. 